Hey guys, what the freaking heck is up? Today we're going to be reviewing uh, some Polk Audio in-wall speakers. I forget the actual model number. I'm going to put it right there on screen. And combined with the Fosse, it's called the Fosse Audio 2-channel Bluetooth amp, which is like probably, I think, less than 50 bucks for a Bluetooth-connected amp that you can then run power to uh, the two speakers that I have set up. So I'm going to show you the speakers. I'm going to show you uh, how we set them all up. Uh, painted them and all that stuff, which is actually a really easy process. And then I'll show you uh, what they look like and then I'll show you what they sound like. All right, so I'm painting the grill right now for the Polk speaker. It's literally, you're supposed to uh, spray paint, not use a brush or a roller, just spray it. And I'm just gonna do like one light coat. And I'm just, just quick and simple and easy. Go up and down on your crosshatch pattern. My hand's all painted now, which is great. And there we go, quick and simple. I'm gonna let this dry out and we'll paint the bezels. All right, and then for the bezels, which is this outside ring right here, they include this. It looks like junk, but it's not. I, I learned that from their YouTube video. This is actually something you don't throw away because this goes over the top, right into there in your insert. And that way, this side's up a little bit. It's not locking in there, but whatever, you know, should be fine. We're just painting bezels here. So now that we have this protective thing on, put our spray can. And we spray the bezels. Getting your spray paint all over my hands. Boom, boom. And I'm gonna do the same for the other one. Not gonna film that, but that's how you do that. So I'll show you the finished product and how to install it. All right, so this is the finished product right here with the bezels. Um, you're gonna see like on the inside, you'll see some uh, white there that didn't get hit with the spray paint, but the grills when they go in there that I painted black, they're gonna go in there and you're not gonna see that at all. So those are the speakers that are now black on the outside. Now we take our template, we put it up on the wall. We're gonna mark the outside of it. As long as we're straight, yep, we're straight. Because that would suck if it was crooked. And boom, we got an outline where the hole's gonna go. The thing about the speakers is they are not powered, they don't have an amp to them, and I wanted to keep this uh, small and compact. So this amp right here is from Fozzie. It's a little Bluetooth amp, right? So you connect to Bluetooth. It's really simple, it's really small. It's, it's a water bottle right there. Um, so I'm gonna link this down below. I'm gonna link the speakers down below as well. Um, but you're gonna wanna get this if you want a kind of a smaller setup. Otherwise you're gonna have to get a full home audio receiver or just a smaller receiver um, and hopefully it has Bluetooth. Um, but this is after looking for a long time, this is what I found is from Fosse Audio and it is the B20, BT20A uh, mini power amplifier. And it's just a simple toggle switch to turn on. There's your bass, your treble and your uh, master volume I believe right there, let me see. Oh, sorry, sorry, treble, bass, master volume right there. So, and then in the back you have your Bluetooth antenna right here. Right here's your Bluetooth antenna. And then I have banana clips going in the back for convenience. And then your power supply goes into right here. So that's all there is. And then there's some RCAs back there. If you want to do some RCA outs or line in. Oh, those are line in. Okay. So if you want to do a line in, um, you can do that with uh, red and white RCAs. Here in the closet is, oh, I'm sorry, I stepped on your, <gasps> I stepped on your Ultra Boost, dude, I got it all dirty. Okay, um, and then, <laughs> that was a big, so uh, the, the hole for the speaker is up there, so we're going to just run the wire through the wall down here, and then the hole's going to come out there, so we don't have a bunch of wire hanging in the closet. The this better be good. This is what I do. <laughs> Done. That's what I do. Can you explain that move though? Like for people that aren't gonna fully yeah. understand like the technique. The technique is you push until there's nothing to push through and then you pull back. That's it. Okay, but can you dumb it down for us a little? Um, pressure and no pressure. <laughs> Speaker wire through there. Push it. Randy's push it. grabbing it from up here. Push it. You guys could hold hands in there. I mean, if you I mean, felt this, like this it. This hole over here, here is not quite big enough. Yeah. No pressure and no pressure. Yeah. There you go. So that, that wire can be cut down. Drag it all the way through so there's like not much slack. And then I can kind of cut that wire to length. You just lay, lay it in the wall too. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, right. This is the template in here. We're gonna trace around that and we're trying to make it square. Now, remember that the template, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's gonna, it's gonna be so hard to guess the overhang of the bezel, so it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. 
But it'll be even. No, it'll be even no matter what. It just won't line up with the edge of the mirror. That's all. Which is not a huge deal. But he really I wants think it you misjudged me. Oh. But he really wants it to line up. I mean, I guess we'll see if it lines up with the edge of the mirror. Are you running wires through? Ta-da! Boom, there's the wires for the other speaker with some cobweb included. Cobweb. Uh, these clamps on the back are drywall clamps, so whenever you start spinning them down, show them what happens. See that? And they slowly clamp down on your drywall. So when you go the other way, they open up and you go back out. So that's how you do it. Something to be aware of when installing. The template is actually just like a, what, a millimeter? A, maybe a millimeter smaller, narrower than the actual opening here. So here, put it even on that side. Yep, it's even on this side. So if you see right there, it is just like, just a smidgen uh, smaller. So whenever you outline on the wall, cut a little bit outside it, otherwise, this is not going to fit in. So we got to go back and make that hole a little bit bigger now. Great. And looky there. Now we got a solid fitment. And we just kind of go a little bit on each one. And it's kind of like um, you're tightening lug nuts on a wheel. You go opposite opposite like that which keeps the tension even on all sides basically so you can go in different patterns you can start with like an x like he's doing and there's six total are you all right speakers are in uh the grills are not i didn't put them in yet i'm i just wanted to give you guys a quick sound test also don't judge me the room's messy there's shit everywhere it's still being painted and all that stuff so okay so i'm gonna set the amp at half treble half bass volume whatever and if you have headphones i would put them on that way you can kind of hear the quality of the music um versus just listening to like laptop speakers or something All right, so those are those speakers. I think they sound really, really good for what they are. Another way to maybe even possibly make them sound better would be to like seal inside that wall where the speaker is to push more bass. I mean, it's already pretty bassy as it is, um, but I think that if you made like a kind of makeshift box around the speaker, that might help maybe. They say the technology doesn't need it, but I mean, I think a speaker just every time is better with a box than without a box. But yeah, those are the speakers. I think they sound really good. Uh, I'd say nine out of 10. Um, I would take a knock a point off for the install issue with the, um, with the template. But other than that, they're great. They look great. Once I put the grills in, they're gonna look really good. It's gonna be like black contrast against the, the gray wall here. All the, all, the, all the trim's gonna be gray and everything. So yeah. But anyways, that's the end of the videos, guys. I'll link everything down below. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're into this kind of stuff, house, home improvement stuff, I'm on the island right now. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions. I might be able to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.